Welcome to HawknessComics.com. This is our picks for the new releases for August 21st, 2013 week. These are some of the picks, uh, hot new books we recommend, popular books, books selling out, uh, variant covers, new number one issues, small print runs. Let's look at some of our picks. We've got Batman 66, number two is out today, based on the classic 60s TV show with Adam West. Here is the 1 in 25 ratio variant. We got one of those. And I love this cover. And it's a big Batman week because we've also got Batman Beyond Universe. And this is uh, number one from Higgins and Gage. And this is the 1 in 25 variant for that book. Also, Image The Bounce, one of their best new titles debuting this year. This is issue number four from Joe Casey. Dark Shadows Year One. This is issue number five of a six-issue miniseries. There's only one issue left to go. This tells the classic tale and origin of Barnabas the Vampire from the original 60s TV show Dark Shadows. Also, it was turned into a movie a year ago with Johnny Depp. This is classic horror, vampires, witches, everything in this story. Classic. The In Crowd is a small published book. Actually, came out a few weeks ago and... Uh, just happened to get the last copies ordered in before it sold out at Diamond. And the In Crowd is a unique book. There is two different covers. So kind of a fun youth superhero team. Dexter is based on the horror TV series. And Jeff Lindsay put this out. This is issue number two. First print. Number one sold out instantly. And is a hot back issue. And we still have copies of number one available. But here's the brand new number two. Uh, guaranteed to sell out as well. Uh, DC's hottest title of the year, Injustice Gods Among Us. This is number seven. Every issue uh, sells out because the print runs have always been under 25,000 for worldwide uh, sales, which is a very small print run considering the characters that is in this series, including Batman, the Joker, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern. So that's the new issue number seven. John Carpenter's Asylum, classic horror author has this issue uh, number two so if you want to check out some interesting horror and this is original story written directly for comics we've got brand new kiss comics this one is called kiss kids this is the rare variant cover we got one of them and then there's two regular covers gene simmons here on the subscription cover and then we've also got this fun one with the four kids being the band. That's the regular cover there. So there you go, three different covers for Kiss Kids number one. Number Cruncher from Titan Comics. Very small print run on this book, probably less than 3,000 copies. As far as I know, I'm almost the only seller online selling this book. This is number two of this mini series. Very cool book. Ties in with God and Money. So check that out for an interesting read. Xenoscope's had some really hot books lately. Grim Fairy Tales Oz number one came out last month and all issues have sold out. Really popular, amazing covers. As always, if you like to look at good looking women especially, this is a great title. So Oz number two is out today. There's four different covers, all looking great. They also have a brand new series called Realm Knights. And there's four covers of that. So we've got number one. So check those out again small prints as always and of course always amazing artwork in their books here's another small time publisher antarctic press has released steampunk corsairs number one and we brought in one copy because again really small print run we want to help encourage people to check out their titles teenage mutant ninja turtles new animated adventures this is the number two issue we got the one in 25 ratio variant here and then we've got the regular cover. Getting a bit of a glare. Uh, we've got Watson and Holmes, big seller last month of number one. So they have quickly reprinted number one as a second printing. So we got some of those. That's going to sell out as well. What else came out this week? We ordered some other interesting non-comic items. We've got Parks and Recreation TV show. These are autographed cards. Amy Poehler, Rob Lowe, a whole bunch of great cast in that TV series. Also, Creo. Create it has got these build it Star Trek ships. There's four different ones, so those are pretty cool. And uh, those getting hard to find. Also, we've got the 65 piece 
Transporter Trouble. You get uh, two figures and you build a ship. Also from San Diego Comic Con, we ordered a couple of these in special. These are not from Diamond. Um, this is the Angry Birds Star Wars Special Action Figure Set. And it's got 12 different Angry Bird figures modeled after the original Star Wars carded figures from 1978. So these are really cool. So the whole thing comes on the card. We've got two of those. And the big news for comics this week is Superman Unchained number three. Now stores will be starting to order less and less copies of each issue. So the number three variants will definitely be harder to find than the variants of one and two. Expect that to continue. And we did buy a whole set and uh, we've already sold the 300 ratio. But here is the 100. This is the 30s cover. We've got the 40s cover. We've got the 60s cover, the 70s cover. This is the modern cover. We've got the reborn cover. And this is the Superman vs. Bizarro variant cover. And of course, there is the regular edition. And uh, if I dare say, of course, we got 300 copies of that. And actually, I gotta tell you, I'm actually really liking this one. It's got a great cover. So here is the cover of the regular edition. We have 300 of these. So to make this a good deal for you, if you order anything off our site this week, just ask for it. I will give you a Superman Unchained number three regular cover for free. And we've also got lots of number twos as well. So if you want to collect Superman as a free bonus, we'd be happy to give you a copy. So thanks for checking out our website. I also do market reports on my website, hawknesscomics.com, also at investcomics.com, where I talk about new and old comics. Also, check out comicsheatingup.net, and that's an amazing site that keeps up on all the details of books that are heating up on the market, uh, selling out, going up in value, and check that out for sure. So thanks again for watching. We'll be back next week with more hot picks and new releases.